Hello all you coin collectors out there and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today we have the third in our series of Australian coins and this is our series of our favorite Australian coins. We've already took a look at, at the one cent coin from 1989. We looked at the five cent coin from 1966. We looked at the two dollar coin from 2001 and these we had two other videos so look through our, for our other two videos on our favorite Australian coin collection. We looked at the two cent coin and I don't honestly recall the year and it was a 1968 two cent coin. Then we looked at the 1977 10 cent coins and that's the one that had gotten me mixed up because I thought perhaps they had made a non-readed edge coin in 1977 but they hadn't. The reads just wore off. Then we looked at the 1984 one-off mob of ruse one dollar coin the first one dollar coin and the only one dollar coin to have the arnold machen portrait of the queen on it and then today guess where we are we are here with the 1966 the first year of issue and it is a 20 cent coin and this is maybe the most famous of all australian coins and it's not so famous for the front, but it is a nice front. So this is the first year decimalization. So it's it's the Arnold Machen portrait. Queen Elizabeth II is wearing the Girls of Great Britain and Ireland tiara, Great Britain and Ireland tiara, and it is a reeded edge coin. And if we flip it over, we see the platypus. Now collectors around the world love this image, and this is a Stuart Devlin design. And Stuart Devlin did a bunch of those that we already saw. And it's just a, a masterpiece. You can see the kind of the swirling water. You can see the platypus's, what I don't know what you call them, arms, hands, webbed hands. And then you can see the platypus beak kind of sneaking through the center here. This is a 20 cent coin. It was made from 1966 to 1984. In 1966, they made. 28.2 million of them and they made them at the Canberra Mint and the London Mint and what you need to do is look uh, for the gap here between the beak of the platypus and the swirl and that's how you can determine whether it was a Canberra Mint or the London Mint and this one here there's a little bit of a gap there if it actually touches or looks exactly like it's touching then it's a London Mint if there's a gap here it's a Canberra mint. So this is the platypus from 1966. And uh, they made, again, 28.2 million of these copper nickel coins, which are 11.3 grams. And then we have the final two. And I saved my favorite for last, but this is my second favorite. And, well, it's certainly one of my favorites. I like them all. That's why I put them on here. Elizabeth II, Australia, 1976. And we see that this coin is not a rounded coin and it doesn't have a reeded edge it's a 12-sided or dodecagonal coin and so each one of these has a side oops you saw the next one um, and it's the Arnold Machen portrait of Queen Elizabeth II it's 1976 right in the middle of uh, their when they made these they made these from 69 to 84 and in 1976 they made 27 point three million or 27.28 million of these and I'm going to kind of shield this so you don't see the next coin because I want you to look at the back of this and that is just another magnificent design here and uh, this engraving is let me see if I can make it a little bit light it up a little bit and so we see the uh, shield in the center we see the kangaroo and the emu uh, on each side and um, we see the numeral 50 underneath and this is an escutcheon um, or the Australian coat of arms here with all the different um, states of Australia in it and uh, they actually added one later but this one uh, this was the one that was current at the time and you can kind of see the star up here and all the swirls and everything else and again, this is a Stuart Devlin design on an Arnold Machen uh, portrait of the Queen. And then finally, who knew 
the first portrait of the queen and and one of the there's not a whole lot of australian coins you can find these days with the first portrait of the queen this is the 29 year old queen and she is um on this penny and it says elizabeth ii dia gratia regina uh, fd uh, elizabeth ii by the grace of god queen and defender of the faith and this is a mary gillick portrait or engraving and then on the back of it we have the kangaroo and so we have it says australia here penny here 1955 and this is the first year uh, that queen elizabeth appeared on any australian coins and at this point in time this was worth one 240th of a pound or one penny and it was a bronze coin weighs 9.45 grams and they made 6.33 million of these in 1955 at the Melbourne Mint. And the reason that it's the first coin, of course, is that uh, Queen Elizabeth's father uh, died and she assumed the throne in 1953. And the 1955 coins were the first ones in Australia to have her image on them. All right, that's all our coins. Have a great day and thanks for watching the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. And try to watch the other two in this series of coins as we kind of go through our favorite Australian coins in our collection. Have a great day.